Yeah. But it's not in the best condition because well, it's old. I mean, I, yeah. Okay, I'll bring it in. My mom specifically forbade me from bringing it in, but she won't know. <laughs> well, it's it, well, it's not in good condition because it was just in my grand the back of my grandma's closet, so the handles like fiddly and like parts of it are. Well, I don't know. When you look at it, you, maybe you can give me some inspiration. Okay. You know, I'm always now. I'm wondering if he wants to speak. Maybe this folder. And I swear Are they in order? So yes, I've done quite a bit. I get nervous coming. Less now though, but plenty. The mic is on. I'm handing them. She wants you to hand them to me. So I think she wants you to have this, and then you hand me one. Okay. So that I can do the handshake. And I said, that's fine. Also, if it doesn't work out, that's fine, too. I'm very flexible. But I'd love to have you in my line with me. Sure. Sorry, guys. I might invite them to do, oh, I could invite them to be in the line. I will. I thought we were lining to stay here. Yep.
promotion. Hot Slahale, Jennifer Vasilez Sitsta, Spoyala Bops Ched, Tol All Ched, What's Up, Ata Squally E Shed, Butta Ched Rhonda Hone, Tol All Spoyala Bops, Yop T Ralph Velez, Tol All Mescalero Apache, Oyayus Ched Dwal T Spoyala Puyotsu. Good day. My name is Jennifer Vasilez. I am from the Puyallup people. I am from the house of Wolochit and the Squally family. I was born to Rhonda Hone. She is from the Puyallup people, and Ralph Velez, he is Mescalero Apache. I work for the Puyallup children, and I serve as a secondary principal. Welcome to our 2021 eighth grade promotion ceremony. I would like to welcome all of our elders, tribal council members, and school board members, as well as parents, guardians, families, and staff. Please stand as our eighth grade class of 2021 is led in by our drum and dance group members. Thank you. 
And welcome Ms. Layla Laux, 8th grade student and Puyallup Tribal member. She will offer our opening prayer. Twogolapu Golapa de Isha de Siaya. Layla Laux seeds the Spoyalabobschud. Josh Laux seed Bod. Sophie Laux seed Skoy. Viola Laux seed Kaya. Ivana Ponte Sikaya. Hi, Fuquiti Suchud. Gwush Hilch Chilup. Oh. To all you honorable people, my tribal people, my relatives, my name is Layla Laux. I'm a member of the Pialup tribe. My father is Josh Laux. My mother is Sophia Laux. My grandmother is Viola Laux. My grandmother is Ivana Ponte. Now we will pray. Would you folks please stand? A squadid up chest twelty slahil, a squadid up chest twelty slijas, a squadid up chest twelty salijas, a squadid up chest twelty buck stab, quabitit hutch chest, quabitits oak lob chest, quabitit salijas, hoyu chuff as dutcho, chess of las globula alti slijas, clomacista. We are praisingly thankful for this day, we are praisingly thankful for this life. 
We are praisingly thankful for our lives. We are praisingly thankful for all things. Fix our minds and thoughts, fix our bodies, fix our souls. We make them one and we will be well in this life. So be it. Amen. Thank you, Ms. Laux. Everyone may be seated. I now welcome Ms. Nayeli Cruz Garcia to the stage to share her speech. Good day. Hello, my name is Nayeli Cruz Garcia. I come from the Puyallup tribe. I am honored and grateful we can be here this afternoon to celebrate our eighth grade promotion. We have, we have made lots of memories here and we have all stuck together. We have all had our ups and downs, but we must always remember to keep our heads up. Today is the day we step into our next journey, becoming high school students. Middle school has taught us many things, which have to be Chobo Chob, Krakowit, Abelik, and to be to We found ourselves. Let us remember that it is our responsibility to serve a role at, to teach our traditional virtues to our new incoming sixth graders. The time we have spent together has been enriching and significant. And let us not forget the memories that we have made as they lift us up into life and reflect into our future selves. Now that middle school has come to a close, it is more important than ever to cherish our next four years together and acknowledge how fast this time will pass. Fellow classmates, I wish you the best of luck in this next chapter of our lives. Heishabahi school, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Cruz Garcia. At this time, I would like to welcome our staff voice speaker. Please welcome Mr. David Durr as our elected staff speaker. Eighth grade, all right. Hi, I am David Durr. I am actually the CTE video teacher for the secondary side. And I had the pleasure of being an eighth grade advisor as well with this wonderful crew. Um, I could probably talk about COVID for this entire speech, but I will not bore you because we've heard that so much. And it is a very difficult thing that we've all had to process both as educators and as students and as a community, as a world. I'm going to focus on just the eighth grade experience a little bit and try to think about what I would want to know as an eighth grader going into ninth grade. So that's what I thought about when I was coming up with some ideas here. Eighth grade was a real big transition year for me personally, and it might be for some of you, I really have no idea. Some of you have gotten to know very well, and some of you I'm just meeting now. So um, for me, eighth grade was just weird. It was just a weird year. If you could put yourselves back in eighth grade where your body is changing and your friends are changing and things are moving really fast. Well, that's happened for these guys, plus everything else that's going on around us that we're all sort of dealing with. And so my first challenge for you guys is you've made it. The, the, the biggest step has already been hurdled for you. You've made it through a pandemic and you've made it through what I consider one of the most difficult years, um, which is eighth grade. It's a transition year. It, it, you are transitioning, say, promotion into ninth grade for that exact reason. You've made it to this point. And so for that, I congratulate you first. Second, I've only taught high school. I have never taught middle school. This eighth grade advisor is my first chance to do that. Um, I'm from Houston, Texas originally. I moved up here uh, this last year to be with these guys and to learn about this community and to teach up here. But in Houston, Texas, I taught high school for 10 years. That's what I knew best. And so I'm going to talk a little bit now about what I think makes a successful high schooler. One thing that does make a successful high schooler is all the things you probably imagine. Participating in activities and sports, getting involved in something that you find passionate or that you care about meeting new people, developing relationships, maybe a first love, maybe other romantic relationships, deep friendships that will last you the rest of your lifetime. These are the things that really, really round you out as a human being, and it kind of starts your freshman year of high school. I'm going to make a different challenge, though. All those things are wonderful, and I hope you do all those things. I hope you have great grades, you enjoy the experience, you have activities and hobbies that grow you. I, that's all wonderful. But I'm gonna, my challenge for you as eighth graders going into ninth grade is to figure out who you are. One of the reasons eighth grade was so weird for me is because I just felt like I was following everybody else. I didn't want to like stick my head up too much above the crowd. You know, I didn't want to get called out. I just want to kind of go with the flow and not, not push back at it. 
not be the one that stood out. And I know that in eighth grade, it feels that way a lot of times where you just kind of want to go with the flow. Don't stick your head up too high because someone might, you know. So in this case, though, as freshmen, you are now leaders on this campus. The expectation is that you're not only growing yourselves, you're also growing others. The youngers, as they come up, they will look for you for leadership, how to act, how to perform, how to be, how to treat each other. And so I think all of those things really do start internally with you discovering who you are, making that known to yourself, and learning to love and accept yourself first. And these things sound like total cliches, maybe because you've heard them a million times, but ultimately they are not because every adult here knows them to be true. That once you learn who you are, what your personality is, what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy, life becomes much more harmonious. So my challenge for you as eighth graders is to discover yourself, or as ninth graders now, to discover yourself. You're going to begin the foundation of what kind of adult you're going to become right now, starting in ninth grade. Huge step for you guys. And on behalf of all the eighth grade advisors, Mr. Brewer, Ms. Kinney, myself, and Ms. Solis, we all thank you very much for the opportunity to serve you this year, and congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Durr. At this time, I would like to ask Ms. Sophia Laux, middle school culture teacher, to say a few words to our future high school students. Hello, okay. So uh, I guess first I'm gonna address the the parents. I get to be a parent and a teacher at the same time in middle school sometimes. And um, the first thing I, I thought of when I was asked to say a few words was uh, the first connection I made with this particular group of students. It was third grade and um, it was my second year teaching and they had so much energy and I couldn't get them to focus the energy. And so I said, well, grab a drum and we're at least going to sing and dance. And they have not stopped singing and dancing since. Um, they are leaders in our drum and dance performing arts. And through that, they have become uh, mentors to our younger students. They have uh, so much respect for the traditional teachings. They've been able to sit with a lot of elders and community members, and they listen. And they take care of everything that's been shared with them. Uh, they have been with me since uh, I moved over to middle school. They have been my sixth grade students and my seventh grade students and eighth grade students. And every year I promise them they're going to get a new culture teacher. And I'm, I'm telling you guys next year, you're really going to have a new culture teacher. And I know that they're going to take such good care of you. Um, I just wanted to keep it brief because I know we don't want to hear another cheesy thing Miss Laux has to say, right? But um, if I could offer anything for your journey into high school is it's not that scary if you take the first step together, just like you did in middle school, where you hit the floor for a circle and you never stopped. Remember that your strength is in each other and the support that you give and encourage each other through this, uh, this next phase of your life. Remember that you represent the teachings of your families. And so when you step out into the world, that you're representing the best of what they've given you. And just like that lesson that we did when we talked about the raven and how the raven was the one who held on to those teachings, right? Held on to that light and brought the light to the world. Remember that you're the light. You are the hopes and the dreams of our ancestors. And I don't expect anything except that you guys are going to continue to be the wonderful people that you are, the wonderful teachings of your families and your elders um, on behalf of all of your families. We are so proud of you. And Hoya of Chess, I'm done. Thank you, Ms. Laux. I would now like to invite Mr. Anderson to come up to share a few words and prepare us to receive our students and present certificates. 
and also to invite school board members and Ms. Jackson and any um, of our staff who would like to be part of the assembly line for handing these certificates to our students. Good afternoon. Administrators, will you please join us to receive our students. Keep the noise level down, please, while we call our students to the floor. And please stay out of the middle aisle here so that we have a clear view of our recipients today for the camera. And we will begin. Uh, Kaya Enchetta. Lucky Bill. Adonis Persina. Adonis Bradley, I'm sorry. Persina Bradley. Tommy Bradley. Frankie Bruce. Tristan Case, Ty Conway, Nayeli Cruz Garcia, Julio Dorazo, Nicholas Dirnoff, Jalisa Diaz Bradley. Cecilia Dillon. Javier Dillon. Elena Estrada. Miley Flores Carrillo. Jacob Galarza. Ariana Garcia. Alexander George. Whisper Godfordson. Jason Harry Chen Reynolds. Caius Horton. Melanie Inks. Jonathan John. Look out, we gotta move down here. Shanawa Jones, Asaya Kalama, Asaya Kanaus, Layla Laux, Nagith Martinez. Ileana McLeod, Coda Miles, Alma Murphy, Tawapaha Marietta, David Nava James, Savannah Nati, Kenneth Nugent. Agnes Polchino, Amaya Roy, Joshua Sam, Perseus Spencer, Javion Tyria, Darren Thomas. Adam Ward, Adriana Zaniga Sanchez, and that concludes the class.
We are proud of the work each of you have done in the pursuit of your education and are eager to watch the young adults that you will become as ne in the next part of your journey. Let's hear it for the class of 2025. We will now have an honor song by our drum and dance students. Our next song will be the warrior song, and during our warrior song, our students will be processed out back to the small gym where you can meet up with your student. If you would like to check your student out for the day, we have a staff member at the table out front so you can sign out your student conveniently. All right, drum and dance. Uh, oh, honor song. Uh, yeah. It's okay, don't worry. <laughs> To tell you both, it's a power song. I would like to RT control. They do it. Oh man, bad on me. Okay. She tell you and we're gonna be singing you guys out. All right. Uh, 
How's it going? How is it? Better start singing. Just sing. Wait for the song. How's it going? How's the start? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, 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 oh,